some people have this passion for collecting. It's really mental. It's something much more powerful than yourself. If you're completely falling in love. I'm Boris Vervoort and I run the Axel Vervoort company. And we are uh, dealers in art from antiquity till the present day. And I also run a gallery within that organization. My name is Michael Gardner and I'm a writer, author and copywriter and I moved to Antwerp about 12 years ago on a short working assignment. I arrived in Antwerp on a Friday and I met Boris on a Saturday, so um, the rest, as they say, is history. We're here in the Vlijkensgang, in the downtown of Antwerp, where in the 16th century, tradespeople would come from all over the world. My father bought it in the 1970s, and then he renovated this coffee warehouse and, and made it into the loft space as it is today. And now that Michael and I live here, we turn it into our family home. You know, the easiest way to describe it is that you arrive on a film set. As soon as you enter the doorway of the Vlaikisgang, you have these small medieval pathways and hidden courtyards. And so it is, of course, a cliche, but it's about stepping inside of history. At home, I like to be surrounded by pieces that each of them represent a relationship. From every piece, I know the story. I know why it came to, to my life. And, and they can be very ordinary pieces. They don't all need to be masterpieces, museum objects. In all honesty, it's quite intimidating. It's a home that had been photographed many times before. And so one of the important lessons is learning how to inhabit a home and make it your own and that comes from the emotion that you bring to it. I think the aspects of creating a home together really meant that you have to spend time here together and you have to create your own character. When Michael moved in, we, we kind of edited through that and made sure that everything that's in the house is also something that he likes. And so in that sense of knowing why an object is special to you and the deeper lesson of what this object means to you, when you bring them together, they all meet each other. It's like inviting your friends to your birthday party. They are all there because you have a relationship with them and they might not be best friends together, but somehow you are the common denominator in that. Obviously a house has all of the elements inside, the furniture, the art, the objects, your personal artifacts, but what a home depends on is creating that rhythm of a couple and that rhythm of a family. I mean, the, the biggest change was that we actually started to really live here and, and then two years later we brought these two cats in our life. They're both named after writers. One is Ernest after Ernest Hemingway and one is Leo after Leif Tolstoy. And Ernest is a kind of, he's a tiger and Leo is a very stereotypical Garfield cat, a big orange fluffy monster. Yeah. <laughs> and so that really helps a lot to animate the space. first time that I was living in this home and Boris's parents came to visit, I had to welcome Axel and May to the Vlaikisgang for a special dinner that we were having. And so that was quite an intimidating experience because we didn't know each other that well. When they arrived, it was a, a moment that you said, welcome to my home, which was actually your home and your son's home before. And so you had to have the courage to say, we're building a life here together. When you invite friends, when you invite family, when you invite artists or acquaintances, one of the ways to welcome them is really to give them a good experience. That means lighting the candles, that means opening a nice bottle of champagne, that means putting nice food on the table. Of course they will be inspired by looking at these spaces, but what you have to do is really show them the warmth of what it means to come into the home. 